All right, here goes. Surely this is the one. Thanks, man. We love it. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. But we actually listened to your first mix again and it's dope. Not sure why we asked you to add all of those sheep sounds in mix 33. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Can we go back to mix one? It's perfect. Actually, there is one thing. No. Can we speed the song up a little? Just feels a little slow now. Lol. All right, so unfortunately, this scenario does happen. You get to the end of a project and then someone says, hey, the song sounds kind of slow, don't you think? And then a can of worms gets opened up. Can you speed the song up or can you slow it down a little bit? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. You can do it using flex time in Logic. Now, there is generally a trade-off for a little bit of quality because it does affect the audio slightly. Um, sometimes you get a good run and things sound great, but it can affect it and you can get little artifacts. But let me show you the process of how we can go about trying to save the project and speeding up that tempo or slowing it down. So to start with, what we need to do is consolidate all of our regions here. So all I'm gonna do is highlight all of this stuff and then hit J. And I'm gonna join all these tracks up to get rid of any cuts or edits, flatten it down so it's just all consolidated. Now this shouldn't be a problem because we are at the end of the project and we are happy with everything here. We're just trying to change the tempo. Before you do this, save the project as a new project, label it as whatever the song name is, slash tempo change, and then keep your original project as a backup in case you need to go back to it. Once you've done that, select the tracks, hit J and press create. I'll see you guys on the other side because this is gonna take a moment. All right, it's done. So the next thing we're gonna do is get rid of anything out of the session that's not needed. So if we have any hidden tracks, so we press H and we're gonna get rid of all of these hidden tracks. We no longer need this stuff and it's just gonna get in the way and it's not gonna be usable anyway after we change the tempo. So let's get rid of it. We have it backed up on the original version anyway. So we can get rid of it and not worry about it. Okay, let's tidy it up. We've gotten rid of everything that we're not using. So now what we need to do is open flex time. So press command F and it's gonna open up our little flex option over here on the side. Now let's come up here and click on our first track and then we're gonna go down to the bottom, hold shift and click on our last one. So we're just gonna click on the little flex tab here. It's gonna take a moment to process it all. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we can see that's all done now. Flex is working. So what we need to do is go through and change the flex option to the right setting for each instrument and sound. So for our drums, let's highlight all of these and change it to slicing. Okay, now bass, we could probably go with monophonic. Generally, I will go between monophonic and polyphonic on bass, just depending which one sounds best and if there's any weird artifacts going on. Guitars need to be polyphonic, so let's leave that as is. Same with our synths. And our vocals need to be monophonic. So let's select all our vocals and change that to monophonic. Okay, so we've got all the right settings there now. Now what we need to do is come back up to the top, press G and open up the global tab up here so we can access the tempo. Okay, before we do anything, let's have a quick listen to the current tempo at the chorus. I can't play guitar that way. Now, all we're gonna do is drag this tempo line to the new tempo. All right, let's speed it up like 4 BPM. Nice, and if we zoom in, you can see flex is working. All of these have turned white. Okay, so I handled 4 BPM pretty well. Let's undo this and let's jump it up 10 BPM. So we're gonna take it to 184. All right, let's see how it goes. I can't play guitar that well. I can't get my shit to sell. There's not much that I do well. But Lord, I can sing like hell. I'm trying 
pretty solid. It holds up pretty well with even like a big 10 BPM shift there. All right, let's see how this goes if we slow it down. Let's do something obnoxious. Let's take it down 10 BPM. Let's see how this sounds. It's gonna be a bit draggy. It becomes a real slow head banger. But even that, it worked pretty well. I didn't hear anything. I mean, I've got headphones on, so, but I didn't hear anything crazy like artifacts or anything weird like that. It actually retained its sound fairly decently. So there you go. That is a way that even after you've finished everything, you can still change the tempo at the very end if you have to. But definitely try and get the tempo right and don't do this at the very end of the project. But if you have to, it's here and this is how you do it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe it even saved the project for you, which would be awesome. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know when I post these videos. Please drop a comment below, say hi, let me know what you thought of the video and I will see you guys in the next one.